What's up, Fat Kid Nation? Welcome to today's creation where we're back and ready to attack some delicious mac. Yes, that's right. I heart mac and cheese. They asked me if I'd come out. I said, yes, please, mac and cheese. Bring me to my knees. They have lobster mac and cheese. They have broccoli and mac and cheese. They have grilled cheese, lobster mac and cheese, everything that makes a former fat kid say, yes, please. And we have with us today the queen of macaroni and cheese herself. The three food groups of B-Rose are cookies. Check, this place has it. The other food group that she loves, sandwiches. Check, they have this. And macaroni and cheese. Check, this is gonna be an adventure for the ages. Let's hit it. DT, that's me. DT, that's me. DT, uh. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat. You just like clubbing in clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three, I be missed for the road. My oldest, like count on racks. My middle one, she's in a dirt bike. My youngest is just like a mama. The mama loves me and I love her, so if she wants something, it's never a bother. Three little ladies, my babies, and one on the way, now I'm stressing my mama. And don't try to play around, don't try to play with them unless you're looking for problems. So don't try to play around, don't try to play with them. My brother's out with the drama. Four to five nights on the road. What's up, Fat Kid Nation? Thank you for joining on this creation. As you see, we're back and ready to attack some Buffalo Mac. Yes. This is the first thing I went with. Now, what I loved about I Heart Mac and Cheese is you can customize anything and everything that your heart desires. So I went with half macaroni and half tater tots. But if you're feeling healthier, they also have quinoa, cauliflower, and broccoli that you can use as your bases. You don't have to go 50-50, but that's what we did. So you're gonna see half tots, which are baked, not fried, as well as the macaroni. They're gonna toss it in some cheese sauce, blue cheese, Chunk chicken, as you see, I went with crispy chicken, but you can get grilled if you're looking to save 20 calories or so. And then there's celery, carrots, sauced and tossed in buffalo, baked, they add more cheese onto it, as well as then they add breadcrumbs on there for that nice mouth bite, and oh, it was all so right. So this was absolutely delicious, super heavy, as each of these uh, macaroni and cheese bowls come in at a pound and a half. Now, yes, they did make them extra heavy for heavy D, but let me tell you, these meals are hard to eat. These things are heavy, they are stick to your ribs, stick to your gut, build a nice little hut, absolutely delicious. Let's move on to the next one here. Eat us. So this is the making of the uh, short rib Philly macaroni and cheese bowl. Uh, pretty standard on this one. I just got the macaroni and cheese, the cheese sauce, short rib, red onion, and mushrooms. Um, and then you're gonna see their famous macaroni and cheese balls. And these things are awesome. Now there's three different varieties, which I absolutely loved because I love trying new things in different flavors. And so there is a normal one, a pepperoni one, as well as a buffalo macaroni and cheese ball, which by far was my favorite of the three. There's nothing wrong with the plain Jane one. The pepperoni was interesting, but I do feel like the pepperoni got a little lost, but that buffalo cheese, wow, a great balance of heat flavor and oh my god I could have just done a challenge with those alone and then as you see we're gonna go back and finish this bowl of short rib Philly now yes they do hot braised short rib they're in-house and oh my god as you see it looks so juicy so tender the meat just fell apart in my mouth it was awesome as well as like I love Philly cheese sticks on my food uh, bucket list item there is a Philly taco. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that, but if you go to Notorious Bob's channel, he's done like a Philly taco challenge where they literally wrap a Philly cheesesteak. Yes, a whole Philly cheesesteak inside of a pizza. And that is something I need in my life. Would you try that? What's on your food bucket list? Like, let me know down below. What is on your food bucket list? Now, like I said, what I loved about this place is the extra attention to detail on everything and the full customization. Because if you wanted to go vegan, they have a full line of vegan options. If you are keto, low carb, like I predominantly am on my off days, I could go in there and get broccoli or cauliflower with the cheese and the meats and it would be a nice little treat. Yes, it's gonna be higher in calories, but flavor, 
is gonna be right there because everything here was super flavorful. But yes, they made these bowls a little extra heavy for me, which I was okay with because they wanted to give you guys a good video and a good challenge. And the staff there was absolutely amazing. Like they welcomed it with open arms. Sometimes I go places and they're like, oh, hey, you're gonna eat, cool. These were like, this is awesome. What do you want? What can we do? Oh my God, let's roll, here we go. But by far, like I said, those macaroni and cheese balls, for sure something you gotta try, as well as anything at this place with short rib because that short rib was so tender and so flavorful. Wow, just absolutely delicious. So let's dive into the next one. Yes, this was by far my favorite item of the day. I wanted the video to center around this, but B Rose was like, you can't do a macaroni and cheese video about a grilled cheese sandwich, but it does have macaroni and cheese. This is called the best of both worlds and something you definitely don't want to skip on. Now, when you order a sandwich, you do get a side and those sides vary. You can get the, the cheesy broccoli. We went with tomato soup on these because there is nothing better on a cold Las Vegas, 75 degree day than a nice hot macaroni and cheese sandwich dunked in tomato soup. And as you see, it has that short rib in there. It's on sourdough bread, which is the best bread known to humankind. What is your favorite bread? Because if it is a sourdough sandwich, it is the best. We all know it's better than the rest. But then they're gonna take their famous macaroni and cheese, they're gonna take some barbecue sauce, and they're gonna make that into a bowl and then slather it on top of a grilled cheese sandwich, bake it off as you see, and oh my God, this is one of the best things I have eaten in probably the last five years. This thing was absolutely phenomenal. Dunked in the soup, took it to that next level as their tomato soup is more like a bis style, very buttery, rich, full of flavor. Let's get on with it. You wanna know how good this place was? B Rose got a bowl of lobster mac and cheese, as you saw photographed all the way in the beginning. And I told her, hey, let's get your review. Let's see what's going on and get your thoughts on this place. I turned around after they made my few entrees and she had already cleaned the bowl. Now this is someone who you've seen eat. She is not the fastest eater and she housed this bowl in record time because it was that delicious. The lobster, fantastic, she said. They did tell her to order double meat. Um, it is on the higher end of pricing. I believe it's over $20, but she said it was well worth it and delicious and nutritious. And then you're gonna see her because I said, hey, we didn't get any footage of this. We gotta see the reactions. She is not a huge ham fan, I will tell you, but she loved this Cuban sandwich. It was phenomenal. Uh, tons of ham, as you saw, tons of pulled pork. And as you saw, it's like fresh, hot pulled pork that they're piling on the sandwich. This is more of a QSR, which is a quick service restaurant. So their mission is to not have you waiting. It's boom, boom, boom in the oven. It's a little conveyor belt oven and you are on your way having for sure a great day once you eat here at I Heart Mac and Cheese. But as you see, I love this sandwich too. I was so excited. Now they gave it to me on wheat bread, 
because I've never had a sandwich on wheat bread with a Cuban and they wanted me to highlight that not only do you get sourdough, they have wheat bread, they have white bread. And that's again, where I'm gonna come back and say it. This is a restaurant where there's no excuse like, oh, I'm dieting, like you can bring friends because there is something for everyone here. Vegan like case, you have all the vegan sausages, meats, eats, and treats, as well as then they have vegan cheese sauce because a lot of people will do, oh, we have vegan meats and the cheese sauce is not vegan. They have a vegan cheese sauce. It was so awesome. I love to see that they support all different types of lifestyles. And then, like I said, this whole entire like Cuban sandwich was thicker than heavy D when I was 315 pounds. It was awesome, but man, was it thick. Yo, so when I reach out to places and I'm setting up events, I always ask them, what do you wanna focus? What do you wanna bring to the viewers, to the internet? And this is the only thing I Heart Mac and Cheese said they wanted you to see was the broccoli and cheese, which was phenomenal. I mean, it's so simple. If you're dieting at home, you can make this and eat all of your vegetables because honestly, it's broccoli, it's cheese. You toast it and roast it in the oven, then you pull it out and add more cheese. Phenomenal stuff. But as you see, I'm gonna go through this and then we're gonna get on to their fresh baked cookies. Yes, they bake these cookies in house every morning, whatever they don't sell, they like donate and they are phenomenal. Now, there is a post on Instagram that I've seen from time to time where it's just a guy who pours cheese on everything. Now, one of the things he did was on Chips Ahoy cookies and I wanted to see, is this a thing? Is this delicious and nutritious or is this just fictitious? And let me tell you, it was not the best, but it wasn't as bad as you thought. Honestly, I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting because I have seen cheese and chocolate before. I've gone to some charcuterie tastings and they've had chocolate cheeses. Uh, but as we wrap this up, the final thing that I'm gonna eat is the best thing I've had in as long as I can remember next to that best of both worlds sandwich. And these are cheesecake bites. Now at Fat Shack, I had cheesecake bites and they were delicious, but these cheesecake bites, I almost think they're better being like baked like in the oven rather than deep fried because sometimes the deep fried texture dries everything out we all know and love that but these things were like tender moist juicy and like just flaky oh phenomenal the best better than the rest let's have a moment of silence so as you heard I'm going to Wisconsin. I have a few restaurant challenges lined up. A giant 280 ounce margarita, as well as a pizza cake as we go to Lambeau Field and show you Heavy D's hometown. It's gonna make you frown, just kidding. It's about to go down. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a tremendous holiday season. It is the reason, and you're gonna see a giant gingerbread man, as well as I'm gonna be on the news soon. This is pretty crazy. Stick around, make sure to hammer that like button as we see you on the next adventure. Stay sick, stay thick, peace.